not sure if you've noticed but I'm very grateful because my number of subscribers have been on the rise <laughs> I'm very pleased by that I have quite a lot of content for you ranging from my thought on important issues and topics to continuing my fragrance sharing as part of my lifestyle what I wear what I like you get it all in a month thing <laughs> hope you enjoy spending this type of time with me Welcome back to my channel, Mod to Saint Como. Here, this is a mod thing. Today, I have a perfume content because it's my first holiday party. I just came from the first holiday party and I wore this floral fragrance that my friend Giselle posted on IG as a scent of the day. I promised her I was going to wear it for my first holiday party. But it inspired me to do this video because I thought it was very interesting. It's a floral fragrance. So today's video is about floral winter fragrances. And it occurred to me like this whole week, I actually just wore floral fragrances and they were all very beautiful. This is what I wore this week. Right? Oh, floral fragrances. But something about them makes them very, very beautiful this winter. So I thought I would share that with you guys. This has been my scent of the party tonight. And it's Wuj Malachite by Armani Privé. Many of us are familiar with it. It's this amazing tuberose fragrance, but it's creamy. It, it has a base of just creaminess and soapy and clean and sophisticated. I've worn this on summer, but this today, when it's a little bit cold, not snowy, but relatively cold, it just shines. Yesterday, I wore Tom Ford Ombre Leather. That one is just crazy compliment getter. I don't recall ever wearing this and not getting a compliment. It's just not possible. If you don't want to be noticed, you don't want to be to get compliment, just don't bother with this. So it's obviously lots of leather by the name Ombre Leather. It has some vetiver, but it has jasmine some back in it, which lends it something very interesting and beautiful and mysterious and clean and crisp. It's obviously unisex. All Tom Ford fragrances are pretty much unisex. I have never not gotten compliment on Ombre Leather. Continuing on my little tray. <laughs> I want this Amouage Dia. It's a white floral, soapy, aldehyde, sort of old world fragrance. All I can say is if you're not ready to put up on the sophistication, if you cannot own the sophistication, don't even bother with Amouage Dia. It just feels so elegant, so sophisticated. I wore it to a work holiday party. It was just very, very appropriate for the occasion. Amouage Dia. I've just been very, very, very pleased wearing it this winter. The other ones are a little bit more casual, but still very, very elegant. This jasmine floral fragrance, patchouli, makes it a beautiful fragrance for winter. And it's none other than our original Jador by Dior. Totally enjoyed it it was rediscovering a classic always beautiful and another one that's paris chanel uh, les eaux de chanel an eau de toilette which has patchouli some aldehyde it meant to be clean and fresh and it it has a lot of rose i didn't love it as much this summer as much as i am rediscovering it now that it's cold it just takes on a whole new clean and mysterious sophisticated vibe so i totally enjoy wearing it this week and then we had nomad which is a sort of foodie but it has flow in it too it has peony 
and it has freesia. It's beautiful. It's crisp. It's on summer, I find it slightly too sweet, but this week, it was just perfect, 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 perfect. Last but not least, I'm leaving it last because it was my most comforting fragrance this week. I just simply felt very comforted in it. And it's Twilly by Hermes, so it's the old ginger. It obviously has lots of ginger, but it also has some flow to it white floor very very sophisticated but the ginger obviously give a warm to it which makes it really beautiful in the cold weather beautiful floor fragrances that i wore this oops oops oops, oops. <laughs> seven beautiful floor fragrances that i wore this week so that's my weekly tray if you enjoy knowing what i wear during the week let me know and let me know also what you were this week that you really enjoyed but if you've been following me i've gotten rid of stuff that are not serving me and so pretty much everything that i bring you would be stuff that i got very excited about or that surprised me or that i got something about it that made me feel very good and perhaps they would make you feel good too. But these were what I wore this week. And let me know what you wore this week if you see any of your favorite here and what your impression of them. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Until next time. Bye.